All right, we're, um, now we're going to get into some of the past schemes. All right, we talked about protections. We talked about organizing the past game. Um, and we, we're going to get into the schemes now. We're going to get into our full field pass concepts. All right, and our first one, day one, what we install as far as our first, um, first pass scheme, full field scheme, is our drive series. Okay, so our drive series. Some people call it shallow crawls, some people call it just shallow. We call it drive. All right, so when, before we get into talking about drive, why full field, okay? And, and you know, why do we do full field pass concepts? Um, these are reasons why I think I like to have full field pass concepts within our system. Um, it gives quarterbacks options, all right? It gives him a way out, all right? If read correctly, all right, a quarterback can work through his true progression through a full field of options and find a way out. Okay, if something's covered, that means something else is open. All right, so you got to really teach the quarterback, hey, this true progression stuff is your way out, your way to be successful if you'll read it correctly. All right, um, and that, that goes into the next point to have answers built in the concept, no matter the coverage. Okay, so you know it doesn't matter what coverage we get. All right, um, if 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 uh, we run our drive, it's good versus man. It's good versus zone. Um, if we get a new coverage that we didn't prepare for uh, in a game, it's no big panic. All right, our quarterback understands. All right, this is the coverage. You know, I go through a coverage manual in the in the all season with our quarterbacks. I go through a cover man, man, uh, manual. We talk about things like one high, two high, um, how to decipher if it's man or zone, things like that. We talk a lot about DEL depth eyes and leverage of defenders and that tells you what coverage they're in. So really, you know, it has answers built in these full field concepts no matter what the coverage is. What that helps too is is being efficient when we game plan. All right, and I, that's a little further down, but you know, and it makes teams defend the entire field. We've talked about that in the run game with the RPOs. We've talked about it, you know, and everything we're doing so far is make the teams defend the entire field. Um, it, I think it helps you play faster too. When you, when you, when you have a true progression, uh, I think you could play with a little more tempo. And it, you know, if the defense is kind of in a wacky uh, alignment um, because, because they didn't get lined up fast enough, you know, you can still stick with your progression. Um, also helps make game planning more efficient. And like I said earlier, you know, we want to be able to spend time with our families during the season. And we want to be well rested. Just like our kids. We don't, want, we don't want to run our kids in the ground all week long and then expect them to perform at peak performance on Friday night. It's the same thing with coaching. All right, you spend all weekend long breaking down film and, and, and coming up with these game plans and just hours and hours and hours and you're not eating healthy and you're not sleeping well. That affects how you call the game on Friday night. That affects how you coach on Friday night. So I'm really big believer in being efficient when you game plan. All right. So you, you as a coach, you're well rested and ready to go come game night. All right. So that's that's why full field. That's why we go with full field. We don't spend all all the time in the world, you know, um, on the weekends trying to scheme up some kind of route. All right. We're gonna run drive. And we're going to run drive versus the coverages that they've shown on film. You spend more time looking at the film going, what can we do? Like, like how are we going to run drive this week? You know, what, you know how, what's probably going to be open? You know, instead of trying to come up with a bunch of schemes. All right, making full field concepts successful. In my opinion, these are the steps to make it successful. You got to install it correctly. And what I mean by that is the way you teach, the way you deliver it to the kids. All right, you can't just uh, you can't just draw it up the day before you go out on the field. All right, what we do is we do an off season teaching. All right, I bring my quarterbacks in. We talk. We watch film. We get on the whiteboard. I reinforce it by creating a presentation for them. Email them. You know, find ways to get creative in how you do your install. Install it mentally and physically. You get to install it physically when you start your seven on sevens, your summer work, and and the preseason. Uh, 
Another thing, making full field concepts successful, pick out three or four concepts and get great at them. Don't try to be great at 10 concepts. You're not going it's, it's just, you don't have enough time to get great at 10 concepts. And think about it. If your quarterback's reading 10 concepts, one, two, three, all right, that's a lot of reads for a quarterback. So get great at three or four. Master the base of uh, formations before adding. So, so you want to say, all right, we want to run H drive. That's how we install drive first. We run it with our H. Okay, so H drive is first. I won't put in Z drive or X drive or Y drive or you know, I, uh, Y drive with a, with a wheel tag. I won't do any of that until we're better and we're really good at it in our base formation. All right, so reps, 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 I said that. Give the quarterback multiple looks in practice. Draw a different card each week. All right, so if, uh, you know, if we're playing a team um, that, that, that's a cover three team, well, I'm going to give our quarterback, I'm not just going to put on the card cover three and, and just have them drop it in cover three every time. I'm going to show some man coverage. Uh, I'm going to make people cover. I'm going to make the linebacker run with the drive, all right, to bait him into throwing the dig. You know, there's things I can manipulate on the scout cards to see if the quarterback makes the right read or he makes the wrong read. And then I reinforce it, reinforce the good, reinforce the bad, fix the problems before him. And then by Friday night, he's seen everything that the defense can throw at him throughout the week. And then the biggest thing to make anything uh, good is you got to call it in the game. All right, and you can't be that guy that that you call it one time and it doesn't work, or you know you throw an incomplete pass, or you throw an interception and you don't call it the rest of the night because you you're so scared that you're going to throw another pick, or or you just hesitant because it didn't work. Keep calling it. You've repped it. You've trusted. Go into game and call the play. That's how you get good at it. All right, drive concept, full field concept. Uh, we take drive into every game. I said that we take drive into every game. It's great versus man and zone coverage. Uh, and, and the keys to being success was teach it, drill it, rep it, and call it. All right, so just like anything else we talk about, you know, I'm going to show you some ways that we, we, we do this. We teach it uh, on the whiteboard, in meetings. You know, I'm going to use some Zoom stuff now that, now that I'm used to using that kind of thing. I can't believe I never thought of that until now. But uh, it's, it's a great resource. We drill the concept. There are ways to drill full field concepts. I'm going to show you one drill that we do uh, that helps us with it. And then you got to call it. All right, so there, there's our teaching progression right there. All right, we install it, film, uh, and, and teach it. Then we drill it and rep it. And we do that, you know, versus air. So we'll, we'll go receivers and quarterbacks, you know, throwing the ball on air. Uh, we'll do quarterback drills for it. Uh, we'll go um, into our RVA where, where, where we've got the routes. Um, and then seven on seven, team pass and team. Something we do in, um, at Maslin that I really like is after, after seven on seven in the summer, once we get into camp in August, we don't do seven on seven anymore as an offense. We do team pass. And I like that so much more because um, you know, we'll do inside drill and then we'll go do team pass. And what team pass is, it's all pass plays, all right? And it's everybody. It's 11 on 11. We got our line. They're working blitz pickup and pass pro because, you know, let's be honest, one on ones for offensive linemen just, it's, it's, it's not realistic. You know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it gets to be a waste of time because the DNs get real wide and they're just, it's just, I think it's more applicable to, to take that time and use it in real game situations and do our pass protection work. You know, not the indie work I'm talking about, but our, our pass, you know, pass pro, blitz pickup, all that, all in one drill. And we run our routes, and our quarterback gets used to reading defenses with linemen in front of him. All right, it gets used to him used to being in the pocket and having to navigate in the pocket. All right, so so that's really big for us. We do our team pass, and then a team. So I make sure it's all. I make sure it's in the script multiple times, and I don't give the quarterback the same look every time. And then call it. Um, I know I said that a million times too. All right, drive. This is day one 
base drive. Okay, this is our first, first this is how we uh, run it. All right, so we'll start over here to the left. So, so this is cheetah left, um, H drive. All right, so the protection. Remember I talked about the man side and the slide side. So this would be the slide side. Okay, we're protect, we're, we're, we always try to send the back, all right, away from the drive. Okay, that's, that's kind of our rule. All right, for the protection. All right, if one of these guys blitzes, we're fine. We, get, we got our slide side, we can get the football here. All right, if they blitz from the man side, we can dump it off to our back. Okay, so, so that's the protection. We went, we went over the protection already. Okay, so let's start, let's start on the left. All right, so the Z has a post on drive. All right, he, he's, gonna, he's gonna take off on a post. All right. He's not going to cross the hash on his post. He can also, you can play with these routes, he can also run a comeback or a deep uh, speed route. Okay. So it's like a deep comeback look. But I like posts. It goes ahead and clears out everything, makes the safety drop, it makes the corner drop, it kind of holds, and we got a really good Z. So, so I, I like the post. You can also run in vertical. So you can play with that some, how you want to do that. All right, the Y, the Y is on a 10 yard dig. Okay, he's on a 10 yard dig. All right, our, our receiver coach teaches steps instead of yardage. You know, they got it broken down to where, you know, the how many yards is steps and, and they do a great job of, of counting steps and he puts his left foot, if he's coming from the left, he's putting that left foot in the ground and he's, he's on his dig at, at, at 10 yards, around, around 10 yards. Now, if, if this area just opens up, he can choke it down and stop in here, you know. You don't have to keep running, but typically when we throw the dry uh, dig, you know, we want it right out of his break and I'll get into that when I get into the reads. All right, the H. He is zero, zero to four yards shallow across the field. You can kind of see that. He's shallow across the field. I say heels of the D lineman. And the biggest, biggest coaching point on drive, when that H is getting across the field, the big coaching point is don't peek until you cross the ball, meaning don't look at the quarterback until you cross the ball because you can't run a drive route looking at the quarterback. You're going to get hit by a linebacker. You're going to try, they're going to try to reroute you. All right. So don't look at the quarterback. Don't peek until you get past the center. I want him peeking over in here. I don't want him peeking. I want him running as fast as he can and gone. All right. Once he catches the ball, we tell him hash number sidelines, get up the field. Okay. Get up the field. Never turn back inside. All right, the X. The X can have multiple things. We've run like a post corner that kind of occupy these guys. We've run vertical, kind of the same rule with the Z, and, and, and a post. We, right now, we're typically we're, we're running a lot more post with the X, more so than, um, than in the other stuff. So I suggest the post. Now, do the posts run into each other? No, because we tell them what? Don't cross the hash on your post, a real skinny post, okay? And then, of course, the back is out. All right, quarterback. It is a three-step gun drop, okay? Three-step gun drop, all right? So when our quarterback reads this thing, all right, he's getting a big, big, big first step, all right? He's getting depth, gaining depth on his first step getting away from that line of scrimmage. So he's a big one, two, three, all right? Now, his first read is the drive concept, okay? When the ball snapped, he's gonna be a big one, two, three, and in his drop, his eyes are in this area. And we drill this, we drill this. His eyes are in this area, all right? One, two, three, eyes are here. If it's open, you see grass, the sound backer turns his back to try the wall number two on the dig, take it. That's a rhythm throw, 
As soon as he comes out of his crossover phase, that back foot hits the ground, I want the ball out. So it's one, two, three, drive. Okay? All right, the drive's not open. The sound backer's sitting on it. Okay? So it's one, two, three. The drive is not open. Get your eyes right here. Start stepping up. One, two, three. No drive. Start stepping up into the pocket. Throw the football right here to the dig. Okay? That's your next, next progression. Okay? One, one, two, three. The drive's covered. Stepping up in the pocket. I don't like the dig. Back. So it's really easy to teach. Drive, dig, back. Drive, dig, back. We say it all the time. Our quarterbacks know it. It's drive, dig, back. Remember, if you get pressure, you can dump it off. Now, the posts, where do they come into play? Well, if I see on the film, on the sideline, when we're running, we're running our huddle sideline or, or sky or whatever we use, um, He's running the dig, and I see this safety getting nosy because they want to reroute this drive. They want to make sure they defend the drive, and this safety says, I'll take the dig. Now we pop a post on them over the top. Okay, so I tell our quarterback, I show him that on film. I go, hey, next time we run drive, think about the post. All right, so when I say think about the post, I don't mean throw the post. I mean go through your progression but just know, one, two, three, the drive's covered. I start working the pocket. I'm stepping up. I get my eyes on the dig, and I see that safety come down, step on up, and let it rip to the post. So, you know, then that's, that's a little tip there um, on how to really clearly define when your quarterback can throw to post. You know, we kind of kind of make sure we see it on film before we go, okay, all right, now think about the post when you're stepping up. And I'm going to tell you what, when, when, when this is covered and this is covered and this is covered, the back is usually wide open. There's usually nobody on the back because everybody's dropping into coverage. So, and so it really works out. If your quarterback can continue and really work at drive, dig, back, drive, dig, back, and you drill it so much, it's, like, it's just like clockwork. All right, and, and then you can get to where once you get good at drive like this, then you can get into doing some other things. Like this is Y drive right here, okay? This is the Y driving, all right? And look, we put the X. We've run flip. We got the X at number two, and he can run a dig. See that? And, and the H is on the post, and the Z is on the post. What's changed for the quarterback? Absolutely nothing. It's just, you know, it's the same read. Is it a different play? Uh, no, but it's going to different people. So you're getting, getting all your receivers involved. All right? So, so let's say we got a really good player at X, and we want to we want to put him in the middle field, and get him the ball, and, and we want to get our Y on the on the drive route. There you go. We, we just 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 get in this formation, right flip, all right, and 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 you know you can work at Y drive. And remember, we always put the T away from the drive. All right, protection is the same. Everything is the same. And the read is still drive dig back, drive dig back for the quarterback. You're gonna run it out of empty. I mean, you can get as creative as you want to get. You know, same same deal. Nothing changes. This is H drive out of empty. He's on the dig. He's on the drive. You got the post, and the back's just running a bubble out in the flats. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed on the read. It's the same read. Sometimes in the red zone, people will forget about the back covering the back, or they'll shoot this guy that sit on the back. All right, they know that we want to run drive, all right, and they want to they want to sit on the back in the flats, and 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 this guy's going to squeeze the post, and and then we run him out the backfield on a wheel, all right. So when we do this, I like to try to make an educated guess on when to call this because yeah, we're not going to be protected. It's five man protection. If they bring six, we're in trouble. Our quarterback's going to get hit. 
But, uh, but sometimes we take that gamble, the ball's on the hash, and we like it, we'll tag the wheel to it. We'll get into it where we got six man pro, all right? And, and, and when we run it with six man pro out of this formation or this personnel grouping, all right, this is X drive. Okay, so the X is on the drive, all right, the Y is on the dig, all right, and the fullback is in the protection, okay? Fullback's in the protection. And, and this is great here, I mean, and then we send the running back on a wheel to hold this safety. You know, so our, and nothing changes for our quarterback. All right, it's drive, dig, back, same read. It's just presented a different way. All right, so drilling the drive concept. Here's a little simple drill that we like to do. Um, it, it seems like a really simple drill, but it really trains your quarterbacks on the timing of the progression timing of the progression and you'll see this we'll, you'll see this drill that we're doing here in our indoor and and and, um, and it, 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 you can see this drill present itself in the game you know I try to make everything you know if we're going to drill it at practice I ought to be able to turn on the game film and see it live in action on Friday night if it's not then I'm not I'm doing bad drills all right so right here I want you to watch something look at look at Aiden's hands here look at his hands He's finding the laces. Remember, we drill that. It's muscle memory at this point. I'm not huge on his drop here. We, we, you know, I, think I, I think I fished these guys out of the weight room to film this a couple years ago. So it's a, a big one, two, three. I'd like to see his crossover. Boom, the ball should be out. So we'll get, we'll get about four balls. One, two, three, ball out. And he'll reset. And he's just drilling, throwing a drive. One, two, three, ball. All right, and I'll set the, you know, I'll set the net where the drive will end up. One, two, three, ball. One, two, three, ball. And that's all we're doing. Rapid fire, getting a lot of reps. Same thing, same drill. All right, so we get some reps doing that, and then I move the net. Then I move the net right here to where the dig's gonna be. Okay? So, and I tell our quarterback, look at where he's looking. He's not looking at the net, he's looking at the drive, because that's what he's supposed to be looking at in the concept first. His eyes are supposed to be on the drive route. All right, so he's one, two, three. Start working in the pocket. I'd like to see him work the pocket a little better. One, two, three, eyes on the drive, work the pocket, throw the dig. One, two, three, work the pocket. You know, just working on that timing. And I'll go I'll take it right through both quarterbacks. You can see Zach, he's looking at he's looking at the drive and he's stepping up. Uh, not a good ball there, but you get the deal. He's working the pocket, stepping up, throwing the dry, the dig route. One, two, three. Now let's work the dig route. So we'll get some some you know, about two, two rounds of that each, three balls. All right, so then, so then he's one, two, three, look at what he's looking at. He's looking at where the drive's supposed to be, putting his foot in the ground. He's getting his eyes where the dig is supposed to be. Not there, let me throw it to the back. So drive, dig, back. And we get three reps, drive, dig, back. So we're drilling a pass concept and working on it. So when we call it in the game, not only have these guys been doing this, but they've been repping it with our offense. They've been repping it at practice. You know, so it's like clockwork. That's another reason why I think that we've done so well protecting the quarterback, but because my guys are very confident in when they're where they're going with the football. All right, so let's watch some film on it here. So this is the drive. This is H drive. This is the H up here. This is in a scrimmage. So he's on the drive. He's on the dig. The back is in the flats over here. They bring some play side pressure, which is great. And we just get tripped up. That's a great game though. That's first down uh, play. So now, you know, now we're second and medium. 
good intermediate, good play against you know most coverages. I always like to put this clip in the presentation because it's a bad it's a bad rep. It's a good you know I gotta show I gotta show some bad reps to teach off of, all right. And and this is a scrimmage and he never made this mistake again, all right. So. Which side do we go to the back right now? This is the man side over here. And they bring pressure to the slide side. And our quarterback thinks, oh, they're blitzing, so I'm going to throw it to the back right now. Well, they got somebody covering him. Okay? Now, because that's the slide side, I had to teach him that. These two guys are blitzing, but this slide side, we've got two, we're, we're fine. Just keep your eyes over here at the drive and watch what happens to the drive. Look at the drive. Nobody's on him, you know, because they blitz from that side and somebody's on the back. So he never made that mistake again. Um, so if he would have thrown that to Tyree, probably would have scored there. This is another scrimmage. One, two, three, drive. And like, like we say, we say hash number sidelines. Don't catch this thing and then turn immediately upfield. Let's go. Get upfield, get to the sideline, and run. Outrun everybody. And you can see our quarterback. His eyes are in this area. All right? See his eyes. Delivers a good football. Here's another drive play. This is H drive too. The back, you know, it take this one took a little longer for some reason. I think our our uh, our uh, receiver just didn't get there fast enough. But our quarterback hung in there because he knows he's got the drive. Watch this Sam linebacker right, right here. He turns his back, turns his back to the quarterback to wall number two to run with the dig. So the quarterback knows it's going to be there. So he hangs in there. I'd like to see him step up and clear the pressure. But he gets it out there on a nice play. Here's another look at it from the end zone shot. This is a good job by, by our... Um, quarterback of recognizing the blitz this is another scrimmage the same year and remember they brought this same pressure they bring both they bring both linebackers and they peel the DN off on the back but because they bring the play side linebacker we can dump this drive route off Here we go, got H drive again. This is one of us throwing the dig. This is a good good look at throwing the dig. He's one, two, three, he doesn't like to drive. Take the dig. True progression. So this is East St. Louis who we're playing. Now, Illinois is a really good football program. All right. We, we, ran, we hit the dig, we hit the drive, and this is why I say, when I talk about calling plays multiple times in a game, this is a great example of why we do that. So this game, we've hit the drive multiple times. We've hit the dig twice for big plays. So because our quarterback has drilled it, drilled it, drilled it, watch what happens here. Big second and long late in the ball game. We were actually losing here. And this play right here, put us in a great position to go on. We ended up winning the game. So, look, they collision the drive. That's covered. Look how many people are around the, the dig. And then look at our back and all this grass in front of him. You know, so, so if your quarterback will stay disciplined and, and, and stick with his progression, stick with his reads, big plays can happen. You don't panic. One, two, three. The drive gets collisioned. Don't panic. Get your eyes on the dig. Dig's not open. Get it out to the back. Huge, huge, huge first down.
You see it from the end zone shot. One, two, three, find the back. out to the back. Huge, huge, huge first down. You see it from the end zone shot. One, two, three, find the back. Another good, good look at the drive. Our back didn't go out that time. We didn't have a have a back out call there. Here's a nice nice job of of recognizing that um, this guy moved late. The the DN here he moved out late and covered our man slide guy, and so he blitzed off this edge, and our quarterback called him late and and dumped it off to the back. Great decision. So we get a big gain out of that. Having, having your back get out in routes and out, you know, getting in the ball in space is huge. It really stresses defense coordinators out when you get that back out and delivering the ball. Here's one where we hit the dig. Now this is a good job of Trayvon, you know, kind of kind of choking it down right here and giving Aiden a big a big target to throw at, you know. So they're running with the drive. Drive's not open. He steps up, delivers the dig. Gets in the end zone. I'd like to see our quarterback step up a little more. One, two, three. He's kind of hanging back too long. I'd really like to see him step up and drive into that throw. Really step up and drive into that throw. And again, watch our watch our why. Watch him choke it down instead of running out of control and just just you know running really fast right here. He he chokes it down, gives our quarterback a nice target, and he delivers a great football. All right, here it is in 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 a fullback set. Okay. This is X drive. All right, we're running the drive route with the X receiver up here. So he's on the drive and he's on the dig. And does a nice job of picking up the dig route. Same thing here. Here's out of two by two. And we take the drive route or the dig again. He's a little too deep there, a little too deep there. All right, here's, here is um, X drive. X is on the drive route. The dig opens up nice. And then later on this game, we, we caught it later on, and we threw it to the X receiver for about a 30-yard gain. You know, and, and this happens sometimes. You know, they bring some pressure, all right, and we get it out to the back, and, and he he's end up there, end up out there one on one with somebody. He makes a miss, and he gets positive yards and gets out of bounds. That's a great play. That's a lot better than taking a sack. So I really like getting our backs involved in our full field pass schemes. I think it's really important. Really important. All right, and here's an X drive. Remember, hash number sideline, outrun everybody to the sideline. I uh, prefer him not to go out of bounds, but, you know, he was going to get tackled. So he's just right here, hash number sideline, try to get that edge and run. He kind of pulled up a little too soon.
here's X drive out of out of trips. Ends up looking kind of like a mesh concept. Here's one out of three by one, and I can, I'm going to show you some other ones uh, out of three by one on the whiteboard. One that I think is really good. So the read's the same. Drive, dig back. Drive, dig back. No matter how you how you want to run it, you know the read never changes. Here's another good job of him dumping it off to the running back, getting getting some big yards. They bring pressure. Nobody goes with the back. Let's get the ball out to him and let it get him in space. This is a good film right here to teach off of. Okay, we score here, great, but but what, what the coaching point here was: watch our H. Okay, he's supposed to be zero. He's supposed to be heels a D lineman zero to four yards and just run. Okay, and he gets too deep because he thinks he's got to get in the end zone. And what he does, he ends up, he ends up uh, almost covering up the dig. That's a good coaching point. No matter where you are on the field, do your job. Because what might have happened, this guy may have started, kept dropping, and he would have done his job. He could have been right here by now, wide open, catching touchdown instead of the dig guy t catching touchdown. So even though you're, you're close to the red zone or, or you're close to the end zone, still run at the same landmarks you're supposed to. Because our quarterback's looking for the dig, and it's, I mean the drive, and it's not there. He's, uh, he's over here trying to get in the end zone. He needs to be here. Okay, so, so stay true to your landmarks no matter where you are on the field. A quarterback does a great job of stepping up, clearing the pressure, and keeping his eyes down the field. Here's the nice shot of the end zone. We got our slide side working. All right, so, so these guys are manned up, slide side, backs out. Great protection. Got his eyes to the dig. It's not there. Step up. Eyes downfield for the dig. So he's looking at one, two, three, drive. Not there. Let me find the dig. There's a good drive route. Catching the drive. A good job. Slide sides on the left, man sides on the right, backs out on the right. Here's X drive out of our fullback set. Dumps it off to our back. And this is how we kind of max protect this, this drive concept. We want to get our back out. We put the fullback in, and now the fullback has this gap. You know, they're locked. Slide side, slide side, slide side, slide side. So we're, we're really we're in six-man protection here, running the drive concept. It does take someone out of the route, but you are protected. So. It's a good change-up and nothing changes for the quarterback. Here it is with our U-back. I just wanted to show this to you too. If you got a U-back, you know, you want to you get the U-back to ball, just run U-drive, okay? It's the, it's the uh, nothing changes for the quarterback. But it's a different play that the defense has to prepare for. But to us, it's just another drive. It's just a different person running the drive concept. Now, this, this, you can do this too. You can, once, like I said, once you master the base concept, now you watch our Z here. All right, we start dressing it up with a little bit of motion. Okay, so we bring him in motion. Now he's the drive guy. One, two, three, throw the drive. It's 
Same thing here, X drive. Lots of grass, lots, lots of um, area to score. One, two, three, ball. There's another rip. So, so I got tons of film on this stuff. Here's one out of trips to our back. And I'll show you two other ways to, to run drive uh, with trips. This is in the McKinley game. We, we have one of the, uh, playing probably one of the nation's, I think it's the only rivalry in the nation, but uh, you know, it's, it's what, a, what a game. What a game. I've coached in a lot of state championships and this, it doesn't hold a candle to, to the McKinley-Maslin rivalry. All right, so you guys, you guys get the get the gist of the drive concept. I've got I've got a ton of film on it. Now I wanted to show you on the whiteboard some ways you can run drive out of three by one, and, and I can add more film to the system for you guys on these concepts. Okay, so master master your drive concept first out of your base stuff. All right, but if you want to run some three by one drive. Here's two really good options. Three by one drive is what we're talking, okay? All right, you can do it from the trip side or you can do it, do it with the X, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is run an X drive out of trips. So we're in trips right, X drive. Okay, so we got the man side, slide side, backs out. Okay, backs out, X drive. Okay, what does the Y do on drive? He runs a dig, right? What does the Z do? He runs a post, right? So everything's the same. Not a lot of teaching involved. Same thing for the back. No read is different for the quarterback, right? One, two, three. Drive, dig, back. Now, when you got teams that play too high, Okay, he's going to bail out for this post. Typically, when we play teams, that's what they do. Because we got guys can win over the top. This cat can get involved on the dig, right? Because he doesn't have anything holding him. The, the, Z's, the, the X is going in on a drive. All right, so what we do is we'll run this H across the field. Let's say this is the hash. Just like on four verticals, I tell that H, you're getting across the field. All right, probably never going to get the ball. His job is to hold this safety on the hash and make this mic open up to try to wall him and carry him, okay? So we get a nice, you know, it, it opens up really nice right here. So we can throw the drive, the dig to the back, okay? That's one option you can do out of three by one. If they start chasing him here, he's coming here, and you dump it off to the back, there's nobody here. Okay, so that, that's a good way to run drive out of three by one. X drive. Now, the other way, and we call it, we call it a return route, a return route. So we want to we wanna dress drive up a little bit. Okay, man side, slide side, backs out, post, dig, post. Well, now, most times, there's a Mike and a Sam, most time when an H or number three receiver takes off here, this Sam backer knows I've got a Mike backer to wall that. So I, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to pass that on to the Mike backer. Now I can turn my back and run and drop and get under this dig and, 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 and reroute this dig, right? All right, so we came up with this play, and we really like it. We call it H drive return, all right? So drive return. He's running a whip route. He is one, two, three, pushing right at that mic. 
And then he's putting his foot in the ground and he's running the whip back out. Okay? He's running the whip right back out. So now, what's the read for the quarterback? Drive, dig, back. It's the same scheme that we've been running, we've been talking about for the last 45 minutes, but it's a different way to run it. And, and, and you know, you can get the ball out, this guy turn his back and run, and he's whipping back out, and you take that space right there. You know? Or this really pulls the mic and the Sam sits on it. Now nobody's on the nobody's on the dig because both safeties are where? Dropping on the post. Okay? So it's a good way to work the field. Typically like running this when the ball's on this hash and you got all this field over here to work with. So those, those are two ways you can run drive out of three by one. And I will add in the future, I'll add uh, that to our system.